Alrighty, round three, another win of the die roll, and uh, I guess another bit of a turd of a hand, but let's draw into some action. Maybe this will be the game that Flood shuts us down. So we should have led with Mountain there for a miracle. Excuse me. Not today. Alrighty. So, blue something? There's a little turn four action we can play. With no targets in the yard. Alright, that card's pretty good. Play our dude. And get moving. We'll have our Thunderous Wrath Man up pretty soon. And that's okay. That's a nice ghoul flesh target. So we can trade three damage for a few turns. But we are going to need some draws. So let's ghoul flesh. Oh, what a... What a dork. And now that takes away our attack. So let's pillar. Oh, I guess that's tapped. So we can swing in for three. Good for us. Trade off some removal spells there. I could play the Thatcher's Vault there, but I'd rather get some Blood Artist value out of it. Or some Connoisseur value. I don't like it just as a nuke. That's an issue. That's one of the better white commons in the set. Seraph of the Dawn. Mr. Jake Face actually plays that in his constructed deck. Ooh. Well, I would like to burn this, but... Blue-white. Lots of bounce spells. But... I th think it's worth it. This guy is a house. And that's going to be real good with Thatcher's Revolt next turn. I could trade, but drawing a card doesn't seem like awesome value for us. So I'll hope against hope he doesn't have a bounce spell. So at most we'll take five into the void. Nope. That's okay. So we are going to eat some damage. Blood Arse off the top would be awesome. So next turn... We'll be at one life. Which is not that good for us. So, options. We could revolt, draw a bunch of cards, hope to get a removal spell. An instant speed removal spell. So that rules out our pillar and our ghoul flesh. And our bone splinters. Hmm. So maybe we just want a thunderous wrath, the unblockable guy. Attack for five. That's an issue. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's swing for five, I guess. We can swing for eight. He crack backs for six. Eight drops him to fourteen. Next turn, eight for eleven. Not enough. Need a miracle? <laughs> yeah, I think we gotta get after the win, hopefully. And here, if he has a cloud shift, we just die. So we probably could have probably should have burned it beforehand. Yeah, we just die here then. Bad plays are bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, not good for us. There's our blood artist. Alright, so not a good start. Bit of a turd, turd of a hand though. Pretty slow starter. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just gotta chalk that up for a bad hand. He's got a bunch of flyers. I think all our removal is still decent. Could take out the Thatcher's Revolt for the Intimidator. Which I think I like that play. Cloud Shift is pretty annoying. A discard effect might be reasonable. We're a little quicker than he is. But it's... Yeah, and it'll get rid of his tricks. I think I like the discard play. Things to take out. Can we just take out this then? I feel like our engine's good enough and the disruption will help us eliminate those game losing play mistakes at the end of it. So here we go. This is a little better. Got our sideboard card, hopefully it does something. If he would mulligan for us, that'd be helpful. Have no fear, bud. Keep a bad hand. I'll pause it while he's in the... I'm delighted with his mold of five. No comment on his ouch. Wingcrafter. Mental Agony got a whole lot better this game. Yeah, let's let's cast that miracle. Lava Axe for one. Still have yet to see our dual casting. Swamp Walk. That's not fair. Get in for a little damage. Make him discard some things. Could have been proper to hold this for a turn. To get his last two. Curious he didn't play the Wing Crafter. He's not, not going on defense. That's interesting. 
And we are just playing 16 lands. Ooh, he's getting aggressive as shit. Angel's Tomb, so good. It adds up quick. So we have lethal next turn. This guy probably is going to beat us in game three. I foresee him cloud shifting, putting some blocks on us. Good thing he's got to block our Harvester of Souls. And he can do eight to us next turn. But he has to block something. But he's got all the evasion. His deck is pretty fierce. I like blue white quite a bit in the set. Oh boy. And that's one of the reasons. So let's replay it, I guess. He very well might just kill us. Or he'll just replay a Swamp Walker. Hit us for six, dropping us to two. But then he dies. Alright. We're going to need a lot of help. This match is a tough one. What can we do? What am I doing that for? Ringleader? No. With his bounce spells, I don't like this guy. I think it's a little too slow. Maybe we want this Essence Harvest. Like I stated earlier, none of the power of our guys is all that impressive. It's really only Soul Cage Fiend, the Taskmaster, Master and the Harvester. I wish I had more discard effects. Thatcher's is really good with Blood Artist. Maybe I want to bring this in. Take out. I can't really take out anything. And I think we just gotta go as is. We have no artifact hate. That's what's really hindering us. The Angel's Tomb's a beating. But this hand looks good. Get us some lands and let's fly. Hope to Miracle. Yeah, I'm digging it. Homicidal Seclusion should be able to, to get us there. Just like we don't have Artifact Hate, I'm hoping he doesn't have Enchantment Hate. Or at the very least, didn't bring it in. So, let's attack for one. Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Such trouble saying that for some reason. All slurred. Ooh, hexproof. That's 
quite good. Bye, Butcher Ghoul. Hmm. I don't really want to put this on my Taskmaster. Because then it just makes him a bigger bounce target. I think I'll just swing for four. Chump with the Butcher Ghoul. And hopefully slam this next turn and he doesn't have a bounce spell. It would be nice to keep this as a bit of a surprise. The fang. No, that's not cool. So we're going to have to uh, get our connoisseur out. Yeah, that'll be it. Really gonna need him to stop <laughs> messing with our board so we can land this. Ooh, another good card. Alrighty. Let's not forget to sack our taskmaster. And now we'll equal things up, hopefully. If he wants to cloud shift to kill it, I'm fine. He could have righteous blow, but that doesn't do it. Well, it'll do it, but at the cost of his own guy as well. Or Cloud Shift. Man, that card's good. Please be out of tricks. Because we're going to need that life gain pretty heavily next turn. Don't bounce my guy! This is how the blue-white should play. Oh, man. Get that board presence and then just tempo him out. It's crazy good. Hmm. Alright, so I guess connoisseur and a butcher ghoul. It's not it's looking bleak. We need to get one hit in with this homicidal seclusion. And I don't think it's gonna happen. He probably has a peel from reality in his hand. Uh, the premature good game. I hear that's rude. Probably should have played our flyer then, eh? But he's already bonded. Oh, it's not soul bond, it just does. Ugh. Should have played the Geist. No 
blocks available. Well, almost got there. But I hope you. Yeah, I suppose I'll reveal too. And he had that too. Yeah. Blue white, pretty good. Get the board presence and protect it. I feel like our deck is pretty good though. We just kept getting disrupted by our homicidal hits. Made some judgment mistakes for not playing the Geist. But looks like it wouldn't have mattered. Ah, it would have. Would have certainly mattered. Could have blocked a Mist Raven. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the draft, learned a little something about Avison Restored, and more will be on the way. Have a good one.